Beavis Shoe Buddies, this is Federal Farmstead. My name's Tyler. We have plenty of work to do today, so let's get after it. So the last couple days have been busy. I've been working like crazy in the truck. So, but yesterday I got a load of hay. I brought some baleage home and some small bales so we can feed our, our cows and our goats. We are currently in Lycans, Lycans Valley, Pennsylvania. We are up to our necks in mud. Uh, I mean, it is just mud. Any hopes of walking swiftly, you better be cautious, buddy, because the mud can just slip right out from underneath you in no time. I haven't fallen yet, but so I got some big bales of baleage. Uh, I want to give a bale to the pigs. I'm going to put a bale over for the cows and goats. Buddy, you love hay, don't you, buddy? You love the smeller of it? Hey, you big goofball. Are you a hay dog? Hey, careful. Buddy. Hey, you're a goofball. Last year, last year he was a puppy and I'd go out making hay. There was a, a couple times late season that I threw him on the trailer and he had a fun, fun old time hanging out with me, getting hay, breaking hay. Goofball. Oh well, he's my buddy, farm dog. So anyhow, I got these big bales of baleage. Want to give one to the pigs and one to the cows and goats and, but we're gonna have to weld my bale spears. <laughs> you know, it's one of those jobs that just hasn't, hasn't been needed to be done, so I haven't done it yet. So we're gonna do chores this morning, feed everybody. We had, had our farm vet over yesterday. She, uh, our one dog is, Maya is, she's nine. She's well, she's going to be nine and she's having some problems in her in her front shoulder. She don't want to put pressure on it. So the vet gave us some pills and checked her for Lyme's disease, ruled Lyme's disease out. She's not positive for Lyme's disease, but she's older. So it's it is what it is. We're going to take care of her and hopefully get her better. But so yesterday was a little stressful, but oh, well. So today we're going to do chores quick this morning, and then I have to run up to the hardware store. And then when I get back, we're going to weld these bale, bale, bale spears so I can unload this baleage off the trailer. Because I need my truck. This way. David, go that way. Well, this just happened. Me and Sarah are unloading hay, and the three butcher pigs walk up the hill like they own the place. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. Holy crap. Free range pigs. Free range pigs, I guess. So now I gotta figure out how to get them in the trailer. Or get them, get them back to where they belong. Ugh. Okay, we got all the hay unloaded. Now it's time to get old iron sides and put the pigs in it. Pigs are loaded. What's the key to working with pigs, Sarah? Get rid of them. 
Stay calm. Stay calm. I'm maneuvering in here, guys. Now we're all in here. We're stuck. We're all going to the butch. Yep, all going to the butch, sure. Sarah says. The one thing that gets me about farming is you can always expect the unexpected. And you always have something new and interesting to figure out. My temporary pig pen has turned into not so temporary. So they have it rooted up and now the butcher saying another two weeks till butcher. So I'm not sure what to do. I guess I'll have to secure their pen better or I don't know, we'll figure it out. Right now I'm headed to the hardware store. So let's go. Today is not going as planned. Just got back from the hardware store yeah we had lunch yeah so today is just flying past the, the having to chase pigs around has kind of really put us behind for today so i don't know what we're all going to get done i'm going to try to make a video i haven't made a video in a while so first things first pull the truck over <laughs> put the trailer back where it belongs i don't know if i'm gonna let the pigs out today yet I haven't fixed their pen, but uh, they can stay in the trailer for a day. Punishment grounded. Hey, you fuckers. You're grounded. Grounded. Pig. Hey, pig. Hey, burger. Hey, you burger. You guys are naughty. You're supposed to stay where you're at. I was talking to a buddy of mine. He's got a, a dairy farm. I don't know how many head of cows he has. It's actually where we get our, our uh, beef cows from. He told me, he, he called me when we were fighting with these three to get them back on the trailer. And uh, I said, David, I'll call you back, blah, 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 you know, whatever. So I called him back. Long story short, he told me he was having the same problem with his pigs. So he sent them to camp, freezer camp. Things just got too big. They kept getting out of the pen. pen. They were, they figured out that they were big enough that they can just push their way through. So he sent them in the freezer. He said, that's what you should do with yours, Tyler. Yeah, well, these three will go to freezer camp as soon as the butcher's ready for them. Butcher pushed us back two weeks, so what are we gonna do? We're not butchering pigs on this farm, not anytime soon. So I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh well. But my buddy David, he told me he's got some heifers or cows, I don't know what there would be, but he's got some some ones due in February with with the the Wagyu crosses, so he was calling to verify that I still want them. He's, he acts like he has a list of people that want these Wagyu cross calves. So I said, yeah, of course. So I'm, I'm top of the list. I get, I get first pickings. So another month or so, we'll get some Wagyu cross calves to bottle feed. That Sarah's department, not mine, but we'll take care of them. All right, anyhow, enough chit chatting. Let's get these pigs maneuvered over. They're not going far, they're just going right down there, but got to back around the house and you know, whatever. Get things done. But David, he's funny, you know, he's he's farmed. He was he was grew up on a farm when he was a kid. And now he's his whole adult life since he got married, he's been farming. And I've bounced some ideas off his head and he's a funny, funny guy. I like I like him, he's a good man. But but he gets a kick out of this whole social media thing. You know, he's Amish, so he don't know his front from his back come to social media. But the vet was here yesterday, and I, all I heard about was these 
these silly Amish guys talking to the vet about, you gotta watch Fetter's Farm set on YouTube and blah, 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 blah. And our vet's like, when do I have time to watch YouTube? And it's like, when do I have time to make videos? I don't know. Seems to happen. If anybody should have a YouTube, it should be our vet. She's a busy woman. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff in her head. Oh well. So we got the pigs back in their, their hole here. Not 100% sure on what I want to do. They're really rooting around. But uh, I guess maybe I should put another couple T-posts in. Secure it a little better or something. I don't know. If I put two more T-posts in, maybe that'll keep them in for another week or so. I don't know. For now... You guys are just gonna have to stay in here. Yeah, stay. Hey, big, 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 big. Hey, you guys are misbehaving today. Bad pigs. Huh? What? Yo, Burger. Okay, it's the end of the day. It's dark outside. We got what done What we got done today Tomorrow's another day. We'll try again. Hopefully nothing escapes. Hopefully everything goes well tomorrow. I gotta weld my uh, bale spears So oh well see you tomorrow see you love you bye see you in the wash keep it on the sunny side